In today's video, we will explore the import command in AWS CDK. This feature allows you to seamlessly bring in existing AWS resources into your infrastructure as code projects. We'll cover a simple scenario to get you started with CDK import by importing an existing AWS DynamoDB and also an SQS queue into a CDK application. The existing CDK stack has an ASP.NET Web API and we'll also grant permissions for these resources for this API. Hello everyone. My name is Rahul and welcome back to this YouTube channel. If you're new here, I make videos on .NET, Cloud and DevOps. This video is sponsored by AWS and is part of my AWS CDK series. If you're completely new to CDK, I highly recommend checking out my video on getting started, which will be linked here and also in the descriptions below. Let's switch over to ZBrains Rider, where I have the existing solution open with my CDK code. So here we have the weather forecast stack, which has a Lambda function. Now this is deploying our default ASP.NET Web API to AWS Lambda. So here we also have exposed the function URL and also outputted it in the cloud formation. Now this CDK stack is already deployed. So if I switch over to my stacks, you can see there is weather forecast stack, which has two resources, which is a CDK metadata and also the weather forecast API. Before building this, I had a couple of resources that I have been already using, which are some DynamoDB tables. So here I have two DynamoDB tables tables, which is historical weather and weather forecast data. I also have a queue, which is weather data SQS queue. Now let's see how I can import these resources into my CloudFormation stack. So let's see a couple of ways that you can do that. So let's first import the weather forecast data table inside our stack. So for that, let's go into our JetBrains Rider and let's add the code for this specific stack. Now this requires typing out some CDK code, which I'll copy and paste and walk you through the important bits. So in this case, before we add the function, let's add in the table. So let's say it's DynamoDB table and paste the code for the DynamoDB table. Now this is creating a new table and specifying the weather forecast data and specifying the partition key and sort key. In this case, it's a city and date. We're also specifying the billing mode, which is pay per request. This is going to add a new DynamoDB table. So if I was to go and run CDK deploy, this is going to try and create this new resource. But we already have this resource inside our AWS account. So we don't want to be deploying this resource. So instead of this, we can use the CDK import command. So if I navigate into my console to my root of my CDK project and run CDK import, this is going to import this specific resource into this stack. Now, if you want to see what is going to happen when you run CDK import, you can also run the CDK diff command, which is going to list out the differences between your current stack that's deployed in AWS account and the stack that you're about to deploy. Now, in this case, it's going to go through the difference and spit out that we have a new table. So let's use the CDK import to import this resource into our stack. It's confirming that this is the weather forecast stack and it's also confirming the resource that needs to be imported. So in this case, this is the table name weather forecast data. So let's say default yes, which is going to start the process of importing this DynamoDB table into our CDK stack. So if you switch over to the cloud formations, you can also see this happening inside the cloud formation. So you can see there is import in progress and the resource is going to get imported here. So you can see weather forecast data is now imported into our resources list, which means the CDK stack now owns this specific weather forecast data table. So if I switch back to the console, the import is complete and we have the new resource imported. So we can do a CDK deploy to update this specific import so that our CDK templates are now matching and up to date with what is there inside our AWS as well. So this again does update some of the metadata information and it ensures that we are in sync with the deployed version in AWS. AWS. Now let's see another way of adding this specific table. So if I was to add the next table, which is historical weather, so we can come back to our code and again, copy and paste the code for this historical weather, which is going to be very similar to the DynamoDB table. So let's copy and paste that, which is going to create a new weather table, which is historical weather and specify the same city and date attributes. Now to import this manually using AWS console, so we can switch over to console. Instead of running CDK import, we can run CDK synth 
command. Now this is going to generate the cloud formation template that is equivalent to the CDK code that we have currently. Now this has run, which means it has generated a template. It has outputted it in the console, but you can also navigate to the root folder and in the CDK out folder, and you can see the template file in here, which is weather forecast stack .json. So if I switch over into console, you can navigate to your cloud formation stack and go to stack actions and say import resources into stack. So let's select that. Let's click next and choose the template to import. You can either specify an S3 URL or directly upload the template file. So let's choose the weather forecast template.json file and click next. Now this again is going to prompt for the table name. So in this case, this is going to be historical weather that we are going to import and let's click next. Now this prompts for a bootstrap version, which is already set up in our SSM parameter when we did the CDK bootstrap. So let's leave this as the default value and click next. So this gives you a summary of the resources that is going to get imported. So you can see here the changes are an import and it is going to import this specific DynamoDB table. So if I click import resources, now this is going to trigger off the import and going to update our stack. And once the import is complete, you can see the new database table inside here. So now we have both these DynamoDB tables inside our resources. So if you switch back now to the CLI and if we run CDK deploy, now this is going to update whatever is required and make sure that the versions in AWS is in sync. So you can see there is currently no changes because we have done an import of this metadata file from the console, which means there are no changes to be done again. So these are two different ways that you can run an import, either using the automated way using the CDK import command or the manual way using the CDK synth and then importing the resources. So let's see one more example of this. So we need to come back and add the SQS table. So let's make sure to come back to our code and let's add in the SQS. Now that's going to be the weather data queue. So this requires a namespace import. So let's make sure we have the appropriate namespace spaces and let's add the weather data queue. Now we also need to grant permissions for this Lambda function to send and receive messages to this data queue and also talk to the DynamoDB tables. So if I scroll down after we define the Lambda function, we can specify this specific weather data queue and call the grant send messages command. So now this is going to grant the send messages permissions to whatever resource that we pass in. So in this case, we need to grant it to our API Lambda function. So let's specify API Lambda function. So let's just leave it at this and let's make sure to do the CDK import again. So we have specified the SQS queue and also granting the permissions. However, this time we get an error which says no resource updates or deletes are allowed on the import operation. This means you cannot simultaneously import a resource and also change permissions of other things. Now we are trying to do that in this specific case. We're trying to import the SQS and also grant the permissions. So we'll have to first comment this out make sure that the import is successful and then do another step to grant the permissions. So let's run the CDK import again after commenting that line out, which is going to import the resource first. So it's again going to prompt through the steps. So it's specifying the weather forecast stack and it's now asking for the queue URL for the queue that we are trying to import. So let's navigate into our AWS console. Let's navigate to the queue. Let's copy this URL and let's paste this inside here and continue the import process. Now with the import successful, I can switch back to Rider and uncomment this line and grant the send messages. We can also grant permissions to the DynamoDB tables if we want, because these resources now are already part of this specific CDK stack. Exactly where we specified weather data queue, we can also give grant read write data and specify API Lambda function. We can also do the same for the historical weather table and grant read write access. And specify API Lambda function. So in this case, we are now just updating the permissions and we are not importing anything. So once we have specified that, we can go and run a CDK deploy, which is going to grant these permissions. So this is now prompting that changes that this is going to make. So you can see this is going to grant the permissions for the DynamoDB for these two tables and also for the SQS. So let's specify yes, which is going to update the policies on the Lambda function to grant permissions to talk to these resources. So if you switch over into the AWS console, you can also see the update happening here. So you can see the updates are happening and the new resources will be created. So under the weather forecast API, you can see a new role will be created and that will be given all these access that we have specified. 
Now this is complete, so if I navigate into the API and to the Lambda function, you can see the new role which has the appropriate permissions. So let's navigate into configuration, permissions, and you can see that we have permissions to dock to DynamoDB and also SQS. So if you further navigate into the specific role name, you can see the permissions reflecting there for these resources. So you can see there are multiple policies where we have this specific policy which is granting it permission for the DynamoDB and also the SQS. I hope this helps you to get started with the CDK import command and use this to import resources into your existing stack. Now we covered a basic simple scenario in this case and in future videos I will be covering more advanced scenarios. If you have any specific scenario to be covered, please let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button. If you want to be notified of future such videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It also helps me to grow this YouTube channel. Thank you and see you soon in the next video.